Today I will teach you travel tips to know when to use an adapter or a converter. If you're flying to another country, you are going to learn the difference between packing an adapter versus a converter. I'm going to use everyday terms because I am a pilot wife, but I was also a teacher. You only need to pack adapters to fit your plug into that country's wall socket because it's shaped differently than the ones here in the United States. So you would only need to pack one adapter plug for Europe or one adapter plug for Australia, for example. Some small travel electronics that would only need an adapter would be your laptop, your electric toothbrush, a watch, or phone chargers, for example. Their voltage is 100 to 240 V, and it is written on the back or underneath or somewhere on that item. You look on the plug of your laptop charger, if you're taking that, or your iPad charger, and it's going to say a certain model number. And I just Googled my model number, A1947, and it said it is between 100 to 240 V. So that just means I need to pack an adapter for the country I'm going to and I can then plug my laptop charger into that and then it will fit into the wall over there. If I want to pack a multi-charger though, I see the term 1875 watt, which is what is written on my hair dryer. So I'm going to need a converter to lessen the juice or the oomph of things when I plug that into the wall. Converters are heavy and expensive because they are changing the, the juice. <laughs> you would pack a converter if you're going to be using a hairdryer, like I said, a curling iron or an iron, for example. My newest is a converter and adapter in one. If your item has 100 to 240 V, you can just plug it in the three prong one, but if it needs to be converted like a curling iron or whatever, it needs to be plugged into those two small ones in the middle, if that makes sense. Or one way that I tried was I googled does my curling iron need a converter in Greece and I will leave that answer in the description box below it's just a little article my travel tip is because converters are so bulky you do not have to pack them with your adapter so if you do not have space in your carry-on suitcase you can pack it in your personal item bag just for the trip the TSA does not need your converter or your adapters pulled out and placed in the gray bins if you do need a walkthrough because you have not flown ever or in a long time through the TSA line I have a video that I will put up here for you and in the description box below. You get there by clicking the word show more in the paragraph down below or an upside down carrot if you're watching me on your phone. I hope you have a great trip. Let me know where you are flying to. Thanks for your time.